today we are going to continue the book of James. Right, it's an interesting book. Right. Today I'm going to share with you uh, really God's way, and uh, uh, then we will be blessed. Huh? Last week we spoke about overcoming uh, trials uh, with the wisdom of God. All right, and trials are from God. Temptations are from Satan, and evil desire is from within us. All right, so God allow trials, a situation that is beyond us. Sometimes there's a, a sector of control that is a, we can control, in psychological terms we can control. There's something that is within. But something that is without is from circumstances, okay, like the COVID-19 is strike we, beyond our control, but God is in control. Alright, so there are external forces out there is beyond our control. And sometimes God allow uh, circumstances, events, and people come to a line that, you know, the reason that He allow all this is to stretch us, is to uh, enlarge us, is to mature us, provided from the conditions that we respond in God's way, right? But if you don't respond, like yesterday we talked to the student, they share about the baby example, his son died, but then suddenly said, oh, he will commit suicide. No, he didn't, okay? Uh, he actually he go and clean himself out, he worship God. He the son dead, then he worship God, and he eat, he fasting. Before that, he fast, after he eat, because, you know, at no point, right, the response, no point, the child was dead, you cannot bring the child back, right? So, of course, he did evil, and that was a punishment, right? But even then, he, he still worship God, right? So, so, uh, Sometimes, uh, I mean, many a time, the, the situation is beyond us, but we just have to do it God's way, yeah? respond God's way. All right, that is the first part of the trial. And today we're going to talk on the temptation, uh, that is from Satan and also uh, from within our sinful nature. All right, we are tempted, we have a conscience. And our conscience will respond to the voice of God, will respond to the sinful voice, or respond to satanic voice. All right. So these are the different voices that we will hear, but we have to decide uh, whether to listen to a sinful voice, satanic voice, or God's voice uh, under uh, temptation. The okay, temptation is from the evil ones, right? When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. Because God desires the temptations at the end, the likelihood, uh, they said, uh, you, I mean, you don't respond rightly, you will fall, right? Okay, of course, similarly for trial, uh, but God will give you strength. They say when you are tempted, He is able to give you the strength to find the way of escape, right? Unless you choose your own evil way and you want to be overcome by temptation. Alright, so uh, in any instance, uh, God wanted to succeed in everything we do, uh, even in our job, in our relationship. In our uh, in our, uh, our study and everything, he wants us to succeed. God doesn't want us to fail. He wants us to succeed and bless the nations and bless the people around us. And he will want to when we lack the wisdom, he can ask the wisdom to overcome not only the trial but overcome the temptation, so that we can do it God's way. Only those who tame, uh, 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 those who who tempt us to fall are Satan, right? Satan delights in evil, and evil man delights in evil. Okay, let's move on to verse 14. Huh? But each person, when he is tempted, and uh, he is dragged away by his own evil desire, and entice, attractive attraction. And God, not God instigation, but man's own evil desire. He assaults the evil example, his own lust. Okay? And uh, own uh, outside forces seduction, okay, uh, seduction, uh, or they are distracted by his own lust of being baited like a fish, uh, uh, or because of the seduction. Uh, go on to fifteen. Then after the desire has conceived, okay, just like a child is conceived, they give birth to sin, uh, and then sin when he is fully grown, they give birth to death. All right. So the end result, or uh, first thing, if you used to the temptation, okay, to do evil, to lust, for example, to, to steal, to kill, and destroy, the end result will be death. 
And then the last that was implemented by the devil to give birth to the act of the evil. And uh, so we bear the fruit of sin. And uh, this sinful thought that we have, we can see, we will act on it, and we, it will give us give you the power. When you do evil continuously, yeah, it will give you the, 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 the power to empower and slave you, to bind you. That's why it becomes bondages. All right? And it becomes a bad habit, and then it becomes a so an action, so a thought, read an action, show an action, read a habit, show a habit, read a character, show a character, read a destiny. Alright, so the end result then will be the character. The Bible says that uh, Satan will only speak whatever is natural to him, that is evil. He tell lies. Again, he never speak the truth. Alright, so that is the nature of the devil. So when you continue to repeat the, the habits, and then become part of, you become you, alright, your personality and the nature. You know, uh, you see, uh, now every all of us, we have our own different outlook, right? That Jesus Christ, he had the new scar, he you know, crucified, but the real person is the soul, all right? So, and uh, this soul that is of all of us is the real being, you know, this one is an immortal soul, the eternal soul, it dwells in the heart, that's our body. You know? And our body is alive, the soul is dead. If the body is dead, the soul is gone, all right? So, uh, so we need to be very strong in our body, okay? We need to exercise. Eat well, sleep well, and do all that you can. Take medicine, get treatment, and so on, and live as long as you can. Because why? King Solomon has everything, but he doesn't have long life. All right, long life is a gift from God. Huh? So live long. Huh? And thank God that I've been sharing. I think I have been able to help to change some concept. If they don't, normally they want to die early, they don't want to live long. But now they want to live long. Praise God. All right. So if they live long, even with some, huh? it's a gift from God. Okay. So, uh, so we need to. Uh, so uh, live long and uh, do whatever we can. Okay, don't be defeated by your thoughts. I said, oh, I'm old, you know. One day I was thinking, I was thinking hey, now about my age. Uh, it's no longer about age, no. It's whether you're healthy or not. Right? And the concern is whether I can do the job. I can run. I can climb hill. So now my concern is fitness. Okay, I, I don't bother about age, right? The yoga will keep aging, right? So that's undeniable. But do that. Uh, oh, uh, uh, what a don or deal. So what the more important thing is, see, how I measure now is important is uh, healthy, healthy, uh, good healthiness, right? Health, healthy, healthiness, uh, health. Health is the measure. Now is the measure. So I don't care about you know. Sometimes if you think that oh I cannot do this already, oh I cannot do this, I cannot, and naturally you won't do. Okay, don't uh, the box down by all these uh, philosophical talks and uh, they are not helpful. Okay. Though we are old, we can live. Some live uh, 99 years old, 100 years old. Think of yourself that we got another, let's say you're 60, you got another 40 years to live. Right? Actually, uh, Kalai is uh, 30, 30 plus, right? You can have another 60 years to live. Right? You see, think, think of that way. Right? Think of that way that, I mean, until Christ comes back, we don't know when Christ but he will come back soon. Uh -huh. But before he comes back, we, we still need to live every moment and treasure. Live as long as we can. Don't overwhelm by your works, okay? Don't stretch the limit. When you stretch the elastic limit, uh, you will suffer. Alright, and then the damage is done to your body. Uh. Sometimes it's, it will take a very long time to repair. If it doesn't repair, you stay there. Alright, so don't overstretch, okay? Do to the maximum, but don't overstretch. Sometimes I admit, mean, you know, sometimes I take a lot of break in between when I prepare my sermons. I take long hours, I can even prepare here and there the whole day. Little here and there, but I don't overstretch. Whenever I feel that, wow, overwhelming, right? Okay, take a break, okay, see, look, see, walk, walk, drink a cup of water, walk, walk, see, see the traffic outside my house, see far distance, see the MRP, walk here and there, take a break and come back. Maybe, nah? Don't overstretch, you get migraine and all that, not worth it. Nah? Okay, life is more than just work. Nah? They, they do the best they can. Nah. Okay, the work is good because when you keep you, your body, energize and so on uh, and exercise and stretch but also you grow uh, okay all these are good things are uh, not bad things uh, but don't overkill don't overstretch okay don't okay don't kill yourself that's the word uh, don't really kill yourself through works okay not good it uh, but it's more than just work and study or result and all that uh, do the best you can okay so let's move on uh, and don't be deceived my dear brothers and sister, every good and perfect gift is from God and eh, above. 
coming out from the Father, the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadow. Okay? Nothing can block or interrupt the blessings of God to us, right? Unless we block it, right? Uh, it is man's desire that leads him to spiritual death, not God. Huh? And he wanted an easy path to wisdom, good and evil, but that's not God's way. God's way is conditional to grow. And how can you grow in wisdom and in love? You have to do God's work. You have to put his kingdom first and his righteousness. And then, slave to righteousness, then they'll bring about transformation, revelation, and growth. Instantly, uh, uh, truth is by revelation. Okay, that is your love for God. Because the Bible is interpreted by millions of people so differently. Uh, it's only the difference is you must walk the way Jesus walked, and then you will know the truth. Okay, then you will know the truth, right? Okay. And you can see the example that the, the Israelite went through 40 years in the desert, right? They go straight, right? Because why God wants to nurture them and test them and nurture them. Of course, God knows the end whether they make it or not, but there are a few. There were a few that make it. Huh? Same thing in Christianity, yeah, there's only a few that make it. The only the name of Noah and Ark, right? Noah, Ark, right? Noah, right? Only eight people got saved. So same thing in the end times, right? there'll be not many. Huh? All right, so let's go through the narrow gate and uh, and uh, Right? And then we will be saved. And he chose to give us birth through the word Jesus Christ of truth that we might be a kind of first fruit of all people. Jesus Christ uh, is the first fruit ever. You know, he was first resurrected. And we will be the first fruit when we also make it to heaven. Alright? As an offering to God. Welcome to the gate kingdom of heaven. Alright? When we reach there. Okay, that is our aim uh, on life. And uh, there's no uh, better aims, uh, okay, and this is the truth, alright? So, as I say, that I will preach, I continue to be a preacher until Jesus Christ comes back. I will not change my vocation, because this is the best vocation, okay? We are all full-time, huh? For the Lord, that is the best thing to do in life. Verse 19, My dear brother and sister, take notice of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Today my emphasis, one emphasis is anger, uh, okay, we will look at it, uh, but before that, uh, quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to commit, okay, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires, okay, here, uh, uh, human anger does not produce the righteousness. So anger does not uh, further the kingdom of God, it doesn't. You know, when I was teaching in uh, one secondary school for one year, all right, and uh, I've been uh, seeing all the secondary school classes from set one to set four, inclusive of the high normal tech, uh, normal academic express classes. Eh? So you can see that we, we cannot be professional, we cannot lose our anger or you know, take a chair and bang at a student or go and slap and punch at a student when you're super angry. Eh? We, we cannot do that. You know, we have to be professional, right? Because if we, if we not professional, if we slap, then problems comes in. Huh? Sometimes they, then they get into trouble, then they even lose your job, right? So, I remember a uh, newspaper came out, right? That is, the uh, traffic police, they go and slap the taxi driver, and now he lost his job, huh? right? So, it is, uh, so, we cannot lose our cool, right? In a worldly sense, huh? What he's saying is that we need to be professional, but in God's kingdom, how much more? Huh? But one person huh, who lost his anger was none other than Moses. Huh? Alright? So, you can see that, uh, let me give you the verses. Okay, angry, huh? anger will not advance the kingdom of God. It will not advance the righteousness of God because it has a bad uh, impact upon the do long doers. And it does not demonstrate God's patience. It does not demonstrate God's love. Huh? The vengeance. But Bible says vengeance is mine. Yeah? And uh, vengeance executed by man is not the proper. Executed by man is the pro, is not, uh, sorry, the word not is not there. It's not the proper vehicle for divine punishment. Yeah? Okay. Uh, the Bible says vengeance is mine. Yeah? When uh, people sin, uh, the Bible says that actually the, 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 law, the law is at the doorstep. Alright, let's look at the Moses first. Okay, yeah. Uh, remember the story, and uh, they were at this particular place, and they have no water, alright? And uh, Moses called them rebels. You, listen to me, rebels. 
So when we we are angry, don't call people uh, stupid, fool, or all these ah. Uh. Okay, don't call raga. The Bible says angels or hellfire as well. So uh, don't 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 call people. I still address people nicely. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah. Uh, so we, we, we you know the officers. The last time we ever uh, you know we went for the church camp and then uh, Olivia, you know, he 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 didn't renew her pass and then she cannot come come back to Singapore. So what I do that I. He all waited at the bus and I went with her. And then the police escorted us to the room and called her and said, Sir, you have this thing. Uh, I mean, they speak addresses, uh, even though, you know, she, by the end, they managed to uh, uh, go to the JB there and uh, book the air ticket. Another uh, mother called the mother and took the air ticket and then to show. And then after that, they clear us. Then she's free. Yeah? So even then, you know, we, we, uh, she seems to be violated the rule, uh, but yet, still have to be respected uh, until we are proven guilty you know so and uh even uh last time uh what was it saddam hussein uh, was in prison right he was unwell even the the doctor the person who treated him very well we got humanity uh, so even though he, he was uh before uh, they punished him uh, uh, then uh, at, at the end of the day he still need to be respected and treated uh, so he need to be professional in everything we do for humanity, yeah. So anyway, leave the judgment to God. Okay, let's look at the case of Moses. So he called them rebels, and then Jesus told him, God, not Jesus, God told him to to speak to the rock, and he struck the rock two times. Right? He was very angry, and uh, although he did not do it God's ways, God allowed the water to flow up to to quench the thirst of the animals as well as the people, yeah? So and God, after revealing the needs of the people, then he settled the issue. Moses and Aaron say, hey, you never listen to my instruction, eh? and then you cannot go to the promised land, the Joshua land. Eh? So this instant, eh, it shows to us that we meet the needs first, settle the problem later, settle the, the disobedient later, right? It's behind the scene, right? So that's how the Lord approached eh, the situation. So and anger does not further the kingdom of God, does not further the righteousness of God, okay? And human self-help by taking revenge is forbidden by God. And God is the judge. I like this verse. Huh? Look at James 5. Huh? Don't grumble against one another. Brother and sister, or you will be judged. Because the judge, Jesus, is huh? standing at the door. Right? So whatever that whatever you, you do, huh? whatever you do, God is standing at the doorstep. Okay? He knows everything. Huh? You cannot hide away from Him. Everything is naked and bare before Him. You know, how much you love him, what you do for him, everything is taken into consequence. You know, uh, I always have a desire, you know, I, I was thankful, you know, I was thinking, of praying about this issue, you know, the you side. Uh, you know, the you, the Lord is blessing the numbers, right? And also he has helped us. But my desire is to one person take three percent. Now we have one group, uh, one take eight percent, no, all together eight, uh, not more than eight, right? So one take seven, uh, one take six, seven. So they still got need helpers can be we want to zero into the student uh, and to really help them improve their grades. Uh. That is true love. Because three rules will produce result efficacy. Uh, and slowly teach them and bring them up. So when their results improve, their lives are improved, the parents, wow, the power of God, uh, uh, then they will come to Jesus. So this is my desire. And we're praying for a bigger place uh, so that we will have let's say uh, 50 students, alright? Uh, it is in one zone. Uh, uh, one zone, then we have uh, more than 10 helpers. Right? So, that is the vision that the next one, we pray for a bigger place, and we can do it on a Saturday. And then from the view, we grow and spill over to the adult. Okay, so this is the vision uh, and the dream, and we are still praying that we can do more, then we can grow very fast. You know, I just received a report from the Assembly of God for the three churches. Uh, I think we, I look at the numbers. Uh, in terms of uh, church growth, uh, I think we are one of the fastest, right? In terms of uh, starting from zero, uh, August. So must pray, pray, uh, because my desire to see many, many souls saved and many people involved in God's work. Uh, okay, because why right, the judge is standing at the door. Okay, God is standing. So how many of you very sad when you do God's work? Uh, how many of you happy you do God's work? I think it's obvious, right? Kalai, yeah. if you God's okay. The joy for doing yesterday, he went to Fat Jahan. Okay, Jahan. 
It was raining. Yesterday, the student had complained, rain, eh? So we walked through the shelter, we came. And uh, so they are happy. Nobody complained about walking the distance under the, the slight rain. Eh? You know, I thought it was good. You know, supposed to be rain very heavily, right? And then suddenly, when you reach Sambawang, the rain oh, reduced. Eh? So the Lord enabled us to walk through. I mean, the last part, eh? this part here, yeah, there's no shelter. There's no... But most, all, all of them got an umbrella, except, except two boys, and then we have to give them the umbrella. Right? Okay, so praise God. The Bible says that, okay, we must all stand before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. In other words, that we may receive what is due us for the things done while we are still in this body, whether good or bad. Huh? So this is in God's word. Huh? And for he has set a day that he will judge the world with justice. Huh? Okay, the Jesus Christ. Eh? So this is what certainly takes place in uh, the day uh, where the God will judge. Right? By the way, uh, when the moment we die, we are either go up or go down. That's the judge. We really got our rewards. Okay? But those who are not, uh, when Jesus Christ, when they are still living, yeah, then, uh, then when it comes, the rapture will take place. Okay? Uh, but a lot of people, they don't believe in rapture. Okay? And they preach whole street. Huh? But, I say you have to read the whole Bible to understand this. Eh? Right here, yeah, because uh, the, 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 rapture, the judgment seven years is meant for the sinners and the Jews and for those who disobey God. You right? you know, we, we, now it's a period of grace. The seven years is a period of judgment. Eh? So I don't, I, don't, I don't see, I don't believe the rationale for God's uh, uh, letting us go through the, the judgment. Eh? Okay, because he really knows the end, right? You know, in seven years, uh, his will not uh, really transform you. Uh. The seven year is a seven year of judgment, not a period of grace, or many will die. Okay, not many will receive, but only will choose. Uh. Okay, so that period. So, therefore, get rid of all moral fear and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted you, which can save you. Christian life is under the scrutiny and the standard of God. Okay, we must measure up to the standard of God. Another Christ uh, cross examination. Do not me merely listen to the word of the Lord. So deceive yourself. Do what He says. You know, uh, faith expressed through actions will enable the persons to experience the power of God. You know, uh, James was saying that when uh, someone was hungry, like they eat, like he said, "Come, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. We feel us." He said, "Don't no, no use." Right? No, not much use, right? Person not be eating. Or what you need to do is come out you, your money from your pocket, invite the fellow a good meal, the brother or sister or the person a good meal. Then the person will realize that God is alive. You know? Then God is alive, even though he's an unbeliever or even a, a Christian. And you bless him and say, Oh, God answer my prayer. Praise God. God is alive. Alright? So you just pray and don't feed him, huh? and don't buy him a meal. What, the, what good does he do? Okay, you pray lah, this good, but then his stomach is still hungry, right? Okay, unless God supernaturally work. Huh? So, that means when you exercise that love, that person will experience the love, will experience the power of God, the blessing, of God, and you, and God will, you will also experience the power of God of transformation, and you will grow in greater love for God. Okay, there's, remember the story I told you? Lord, give me a soul a day. But he loved for soul, God gave him a soul. No, he gave him two souls, he got two souls, three souls, until five souls, right? The day when he went to do evangelism at John High, right, in India. And so that's how he grew in a greater love for God, right? the greater faith and a greater blessing to the kingdom. Right? So you need it is God who make our love grow, the Bible says, right? In uh first Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. It is God who makes our love grow, not we grow ourselves. We cannot we go to the kingdom of heaven is by the power of God. Alright, so we need to depend on God's power. How to depend on God's power? You must be slave to righteousness. Then the power of God comes in. Alright, so everything is the power of God. Okay, let's move on. But remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to make well. Okay, so I'm trying to cross reference. Huh? And uh, the Bible says here that uh, give to someone and get the power to give, right? Okay, when you give to the kingdom of God, you actually bless the kingdom. And that releases the power of God to bless the people and bless you. Alright? Okay, the powers come from God and uh, your power to make well also come from God. 
Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what he say is like someone who looks at the mirror and forget how he looks like. Meaning to say one of the ways is that when you listen to God what you do it over time you will forget. And the Lord will flourish, the Lord will bring success and will prosper in the soil of true obedience. And we not only need to proclaim the word of God effectively that we do a, hard, a good job and work hard, but offer some practical help to demonstrate the power of God. All right, for example, study students need to do well, they need to improve their grades. And the real being of who you are, our immortal souls, uh, okay? Uh, so we must do it while we are on the right hand. Okay, let's move on to 24. And after looking at himself in the mirror, he goes away immediately, he forget how, how he, what he looks like. Uh. When we do not do it, we will forget at the same time. Uh. So we need to do it. Verse 25. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law, that is the word of God, that gives us freedom, and continue in it, and not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, and that's the word, huh? doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. If you don't do, huh, you will not be blessed. So you need to do it. That's why, you know, and that's my desire, as I said yesterday, uh, we need to move 10 people into action instead of one or two people. Because when you move 10 people, that means they are growing in the Lord, they are engaging with God, and they are blessing God's kingdom. And as they do, God will empower them, and God will bless them. So this is a pattern uh, that we are uh, saying, okay? All right. Now that I, the Lord, okay, Jesus said the example, uh, cross-reference, uh, okay, wash one another's feet, and you also ought to wash one another's feet. Okay, you know the context about the Last Supper, right? They clean their feet because of the dirty, and then uh, it's, uh, only the slave will clean their feet at the lowest day, right? But Jesus put upon himself, the slave to meet their needs. So same thing, the principle that we need to meet the needs of the people around us. And Christ said, I set an example for you that as, as I do, as you've done for you. But actually, no servant is greater than the master, nor is the messenger greater than the one who sends me. Now that you know these things, okay, you will be blessed if you do them. Okay? So, a lot of uh, things are Action, uh, it based on action. Action, uh. okay. Uh, I forgot one story, right? I can put down there. Is that uh, Jeremiah there, right? Jeremiah, uh, is it 30? Okay, let's look at the slide on Jeremiah. Uh, there, there, yeah, correct. Abimelech. Let's look at Abimelech. Uh. Okay, I like this story uh, because he, uh, uh, this uh, Jeremiah. Because he told the king that the uh, Babylonians is going to invade the country, right? And he didn't like it. He thought he was the betrayer. So he threw him to the sea trip. And then Abimelech, the official, knew about it. Okay, he took risk again uh, against uh, the enemy of the palace. And then he went to report to the king. And this will happen. An official in the royal palace said they put Jeremiah in the sea trip. When the king was sitting, Abimelech went out of the palace and said to him, my Lord and King, these men have acted wickedly. They have done to Jeremiah and they have thrown him in the sea trunk and he will be stuffed to death. Alright, there's no longer bread there, yes, sir? And then the king commanded Abimelech to take 30 men to rescue him and leave him out of the sea trunk before he dies. So Abimelech took the man with him and went to a room under the treasure. He took some old rag, torn up clothes, and let down the room to bring him up. Okay, put this rag, so on verse 13. They put him up to the room and lifted him out of his children and made a crowd. So he did die. Right, so look at what happened to Abimelech. During the war, right, when the two king, uh, the Babylonian, uh, invaded uh, the, the, okay, the Jew, uh, Israel, right? Okay, or the Jew. okay, go and tell uh, Judah. Go and tell Abimelech, Abimelech, uh, this is what the Lord said. The God just said, I'm about to fulfill my word against the city, words concerning disaster. Okay, invasion, uh, not prosperity. At that time, they will be few before your eyes. Uh, you will see, but I will rescue you on the day. See, when he took God's so God protect, right? He didn't die. He didn't die in the war. Okay, neither was he captured. Declares the Lord, you will not be given to the hands of those who fear. So you will not be held captive. Like, I will save you. You will not fall by the sword during the war, but you will escape with your life because you trust in me. Declares the Lord. How is the action? You got action, right? Actually, he said Jeremiah, right, by telling the king, right? 
against the bad people in a in a in the royal kingdom. So you can see that uh, when you rest, when you save the soul, all right, and you save uh, God Church, okay, you bless God Church. In terms of trouble, God will bless you. God will take care of you. You will not be captured. You will not be harmed. You will have food. You will have land. You will be blessed. So that's the principle there. When you put God's kingdom first, you take care of your kingdom first and walk righteously, you will be blessed like Abhi Milak. Alright? So, so this example of action that we need to do. Yesterday I said that how many are willing to reach your life for Jesus in a, to be thrown into the lion's den? How many are willing to, like Daniel, make a stand and be thrown to the lion's den? But he never died. But after that, the bad guys are thrown in the family, you know, thrown in at the consequences. The end result was that he was promoted. I mean, he prospered in Darius' kingdom, right? And he, because early on, he was promoted and the three evil children under the Babylonian kingdom were not bound down to the golden image. So you can see that when we are willing to risk our life, in the lion's den. When they are willing to raise our light in the firing furnace, there will be a four person there to rescue you. Then God will shut the mouth, God will shut the mouth of the lion. And at the end of the day, you will be promoted and you will prosper. So you are willing to be thrown into the lion's den. That means you are willing to sacrifice for God. You know, uh, this day was raining heavily. You know, I have never been deterred by rain. You know, you know, God was good huh? when I was in uh, what is place that far? Not New Delhi. I went to New Delhi. I went to uh, this uh, Admiral Navigator. Huh? Sri Lanka. Ah, Sri Lanka, yes. And many years ago, I went to Sri Lanka. You know, that time there was a Tamil tiger, right? And then when we came out of the airport, there was machine gun, no? There was a trench there, there was machine gun. So that was the particular year we went there. So, and then they drove her, no? To the hilltop. Wow, it was over hard. Wow, it's so dark. No? It's going to be a heavy downpour. No? I think it'll take uh, more than one hour or so, one, two hours to go up the hill and go down you know, the circle before going to the village hilltop no? to preach the gospel. And we pray, say, God, don't read. Because when it's so narrow, the stretch the roads, the car coming down, going up, if you sleep, pray, you cannot see, you're dark, no? you'll flip, no? you go down. And then that's the end of you. And the whole team, no? You know, so we pray and then the rain didn't stop. Yesterday also was heavy rain and pray, God, you know, how about just the period we're going to come here, uh, just reduce the rain or no rain, uh, so we can come. So, praise God, and God did that in us. And then, so similarly in uh, Sri Lanka, we went there, and then when we reached there, uh, no rain, no, although we were overcast. Of course, God also provided a place, uh, you know, a small classroom uh, for us to preach, no? The, 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 the people people say, say it's better, better you rain heavy then. You know, you have to buy a room for us. Oh, I want to check back. Oh. Check back. You know, a lot of is, I think at least 80 people. No, not a lot, but a small room, no? all shoulder to shoulder. No? I was preaching at the, the stage, huh? and behind me was the was the idol. No? But there are people who say that people go heal, the heart the blind, you know, in the way they are partially healed and so on. No? The power of God came in, all right? So God was good. He stopped the rain, and when we go into the room, it rains. <laughs> so you can see, God can delay the, the rain, you know? The power of God uh, can uh, bless us when we do His work. So this sort of thing, uh, so uh, for so many years, I've been on uh, preaching on Saturday, Sunday, uh, and never absent once by God's grace, uh, praise God. May God give me, help me over the years. Uh, I never miss church once in, on Saturday and Sunday, right? By the sustaining power of God, God can do it for you, right? So preaching is the preaching is a review through to talk about the practical living, okay, empowered by His grace. And God designed for our living, yeah? in our thoughts must be pure, and then our words. And also uh, the deeds. Okay, very importantly is the deeds and uh, oftentimes the actions that speaks louder than words. Okay, verse 26, we're going to wrap up soon. Eh? Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein eh, of their tongues deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. 
All right, so we have to watch our tongues uh, and uh, say only things that are helpful and uh, avoid conflict because sometimes there's a maturity gap, different view. Uh. So, uh, depend on uh, that God, may God give you wisdom how to relate well, okay, the true reality. And then everything we do uh, is an act of worship. And not just worship here, sing song, praise God. But it's our life as well. Eh? So all we expect, okay, going to the firing furnace is an act of worship to God. Going to the lion's den is a worship to God. And going at Paul to make a path to Jerusalem to die, and Jesus Christ go there, is also an act of worship to God. So don't be afraid of hard work. Don't be afraid of rain, shine. Okay, don't be afraid that you have trouble, uh, uh, trouble getting here, you know, maybe too far distant, or maybe you got movement problems. Whatever, well, don't let anything stop you from coming to church and worship. But don't let anything hinder you from doing God's work. Alright? Now there was a testimony about this guy who had uh, a uh, terrible cancer, right? You know, uh, so he went, he still went to a mission field, you know? So many missions that God like them, they're still alive today. The doctor say he don't have many days to live. Many days to live. What did what he do? He said, God, the remaining of my days I will serve you. So he went to the mission field and said, God. And then there are, there are times there are time that he couldn't speak and because of his sickness. Huh? And then what happened is but he's still alive today. He's a preacher, so called. Huh? Huh? He's uh, set up, open up restaurant to feed the hunger. Right? So he has his own ministry, so called. Uh, but whatever the case be, uh, but it's the grace of God, okay, that sustain him because he trusts in God. In spite of his going to die, uh, yet he still went to mission field and do God's work. He said, My remaining days I give to you. And he's still living today. Praise God. Miracles took place. You know how the miracle took place? He was in the hospital bed, they all given up already. Then uh, he experienced Jesus visited him. And Jesus touched him and he was alive. I mean, he's not going to die, but he was going to die. But God completely healed him. I mean, and uh, now he testified all over. Uh, Alright, so don't, 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 don't be afraid, you know, don't be limited by your uh, Paul, uh, your eyesight, you know, see for clean, you know. He's still, how many missionary journey he has been doing for God? How many churches he planted in spite of his time, you know, see for clean. Alright? And, uh, so you can see that uh, don't 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 uh, limit God, don't limit yourself. Just continue to serve God. The last ounce of energy you have, give it to God, like Elijah. The last minute, he has still got the king how to shoot the arrow, right? He said, "Ah, yeah, uh, why you shoot the arrow only three times? Before you should hit more, so that you defeat the enemy more." In other words, that we must be more diligent, serve God more. Don't just serve little only, a little only more, okay? And then you, you have victory upon victory and success upon success and more and more blessing. Don't limit serving God. Don't limit by your physical body. Alright? So I always look forward to serve God. You know? Of course, stretch every day and maximize every day to the fullest, to the maximum. Alright? But don't overstretch. Okay? So don't be afraid to go into the fiery furnace for Jesus. Okay? You say, I have rain, I cannot come really, you know, that kind of thing. No, no, don't be deterred. Huh? No rain, no rain. You know, the students never complain and say, you walk, oh, they have to be. So, <laughs> all right, nobody complain. They have to be. All right, just to walk. Walk no, from the interchange line to the, all the way here. So, don't be, uh, okay, let's move on. Religions that God, our Father, accept as pure and formal is this to look after the orphans and the widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Don't be materialistic and be, be uh, uh, polluted by the world, the worldly thinking. Not in strife, not in lust, not in anger, but in inner active goodness. Uh, loving our neighbor as we love ourselves and stopping the tears and bring relief to many impoverished people. How to stop the tears? To give them food to eat, to meet their needs. All right, you, you, you just uh, help them. All right. In conclusions, okay, what's today's message all about? Offer practical help, helps to demonstrate God's power or God's love to bless the needy, the needy souls. 
Anger is not a virtue. Anger does not advance the kingdom of God. Anger does not further the, the, the will of God. And God wants us to succeed as we go through trial and testing, even temptations. And ask God for wisdom to overcome and do it God's way, and not by the anger way. Yeah? Any anger management, no. Okay? Just do it in a loving way. And do not be overcome by the power of darkness, the power of Satan, the onslaught of evil and Satan. But be willing to go the, not only the extra mile, to go to the fiery furnace, even to the lion dance, there and there for Jesus Christ. Alright? So today the message encourages you <clears throat> be strong, okay? And all situation, all things work for good for those who love God. They are called according to his purpose. Eh? So <clears throat> God allowed things to happen <clears throat> is to mature you, empower you. <clears throat> so that you can grow in perfect in wisdom, perfect in love. Alright, that is the meaning in life, right? Perfect in wisdom, perfect in love. That's the to be destined to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Like that whom he can justify you to be glorified in the days to come. Amen. Praise God. Okay, today you are here, you say, God, I'm not afraid to go into the firing furnace for you. I'm not afraid to go into the lying dance for you. To stand by your truth. And I'm not afraid to go to many mouths to do your kingdom, to expand your kingdom, to do your will, to seek ye first your kingdom and your righteousness. And also to overcome trial, temptations with your wisdom and with your love. And to still overcome evil, be good and bless others. Alright? So today you are here. Any of these points uh, that you want to commit to God, we pray for you. Any others? Yes. Any others? Yes, that's all. Alright, any other before we change the order? Yes. Okay, any more? Okay, praise God. Let's pray, yeah? Lord, we thank you for all of them, especially those who not in here raise their hands to signify that they are willing to go to the firing furnace at the three Hebrew children. And Lord, that they are going, they are willing to go to the lion dance, lion's dance, and uh, to, you know, to the extent but when they do that, they, they will experience miracles. You will shut the, the mouth of the lion and you put and you will personally lead them to the fire. And then they will be promoted and prosperous and glorify you. Lord, may all of them shine for you as they become slaves of righteousness. And that will lead to greater transformation in your life. From glory to glory, from faith to faith, from love to love. And above all, that your name will be magnified and glorified. Thank you for this wonderful time. We praise you. We thank you for being with us. Praise God.